What's going on guys, Dom Diggity here. I am heading back from work, um, waiting for my package. So I ordered um, this vegan food delivery service called Hungry Root. Um, and I got an email that it was delivered. So I'm gonna go home, check it out. Gonna do an unboxing, a little review, and show you guys what it looks like. So today I'm gonna do a review on a vegan meal delivery service called Hungry Root. So Hungry Root is basically, um, they send you ingredients, um, all fresh, raw, uh, vegetables and uh, different ingredients of that nature and then they give you instructions on how to create lovely dishes out of them looks like this when you get it not not too heavy so I'm going to unbox this kind of show you what it looks like everything coming out of the box and the different types of dishes that we can make so So when you first open the box, you'll see a lot of cushioning here. I'm going to turn the camera around so you guys can see everything going on here. Okay, so when you open it up, first thing you'll see is a little ice pack. Take this out. And then you have this little pamphlet here. So this will kind of show you everything that's in here. Um, so yeah, it's going to show all the ingredients and then to the right is all the different dishes that you can make out of these ingredients. Looks like some interesting, uh, dishes. We'll see what, you know, what we're working with here. And then this is the book, um, that has the page number references. So it's a little menu book of the month. Um, and then inside, let's see. Yeah, so there's recipes for different meals here, such as that. And all the meals are very quick to make. Um, I think most of them take under 10 minutes. This one's eight minutes. So right now I'm gonna take everything out, basically lay it out across my <laughs> oven back here and put things away and decide what dish I'm gonna make tonight. So, let's do Okay, so here are all of the ingredients laid out. Um, black bean salad, peanut butter, coconut cookies. That's interesting. Um, let's see, some coconut curry, shaved Brussels sprouts, super blend salad, some beet noodles to prepare there. Banana bread, overnight oats. Um, black bean, this looked really interesting. Black bean brownie batter. So let's see, it's made of black beans, vegan chocolate chips, unsweetened almond butter, coconut sugar. I'm definitely gonna try this tonight, make some, some brownies out of this. Yep, gonna do that. Unfortunately, when I opened my box, I found an exploded container, um, which I'm not too happy about, so I'm gonna deal with that later. I think tonight, let me look in my book here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try to make this tonight. So it's eggplant, cauliflower, dirty rice. You see how quick and easy the instructions are. It's eight minutes, that's it. For all of you that don't like to cook, this will work for you. Heat one tablespoon olive oil in a skillet over medium high heat. Cook one bag of cauliflower rice with a pinch of salt and pepper for five minutes. Mix in four tablespoons of eggplant something plus a fourth cup water and cook an additional two to three minutes until cauliflower is tender. It also tells you the calories, how many servings, um, and then suggested pairings, things that it will go nice with. All right, so let's get cooking. I'm gonna put this pan on medium heat. And put like a little bit of olive oil, a little, little drop. And then we're gonna put in our cauliflower rice. I've never had cauliflower rice before, but when you hook it up the right way, it can taste really good. So I'm gonna put 
the rice in the pan. All right, so I'm gonna put a little bit of salt and pepper because of course we need seasonings. And I like to put all-purpose seasoning by Goya in everything. So yes, I'm gonna use it in this. So I'll sprinkle a little bit of that. I'm already liking the aromas. See what it's looking like. Can't see to see that, but she's getting Okay, so now we're just gonna put in our eggplant. Let me see, caponata, <laughs> which is this right here. Yes, yeah, so we're just gonna dump this in there. It says four tablespoons, which is kind of like basically the whole container. We're just gonna add it to the cauliflower. This smells really good, by the way. All right. So this is basically what it should be looking like when it's done. It smells amazing. It's surprisingly very flavorful. But yeah, so, so far so good. I think this is delicious. I'm gonna have me a little bit for dinner. Um, I think this will go nice as even like a little side dish. Um, for a cookout or something like that, you never know. Um, but yeah, and I'm gonna get some of these um, black bean brownies in the oven as well. So let me preheat the oven. All right, so let's get this brownie batter open. Ooh, that looks so chocolatey. Do you see that? <laughs> All right, let's taste this brownie bean stuff. Oh my god this is so good it tastes just like brownie batter like this is scary so good <laughs> focus focus so guys, I'm sitting here in Balakim Woods, sitting outside of my hair salon. About to get my hair washed and conditioned and, and moisturized and wonderful. Yes, cannot wait. But um, on my way, I stopped at this new place that I found that you have to try. Um, it is in Germantown in Philly. It's called Linda's Vegetarian Village. Oh my gosh. When I say delicious, here's the little um, like menu flyer I got. Hopefully the camera will focus so you can see it. But yeah, so this is what the little menu looks like. They have, so everything here is um, vegan, raw based, things like that. So they have, um, so I got a falafel burger, which was heavenly. Um, it had like avocado, um, vegan cheese, vegan mayo, lettuce, tomato. Um, it was on like this flat, I forget what it's called, but this flat kind of bread. Um, but next time I will definitely show you what it looks like, but I recommend it, you should go, it's delicious. But um, this is kind of like some stuff that they have inside. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see stuff on here, but um, they have like tuna salad, chicken salad, they have wraps, they have vegan burgers, um, the falafel burger, of course. And they have drinks, desserts, um, they have, oh, let me show you, I can show you the, the snacks I got. So, I got these kale chips. These are delicious, you have to try it. Um, what else did I get? I got this, I didn't try this yet, but it's a raw cheesecake, um, blueberry flavored, so it's basically focusing. So it has like cashews, um, dates, agave, um, lemon juice stuff like that so it's like all raw ingredients to make the taste of cheesecake and then I got this um, I love ginger beer um, fun fact 
but um, I tried this new flavor that's kind of like a ginger beer but it's pineapple flavor and it's really good it's by tropical rhythms um, so that's what that looks like the customer service by the way is amazing like I walked in they were friendly welcoming they were like oh first-time visitor shaking their little bell like welcome Dominique it was so funny <laughs> it was cute but um yeah, it's delicious food, great service. Um, they let me try like a sample of their um, dessert called Banana Whip, which is basically like putting in frozen bananas into a blender and you blend it a certain way that it makes like the consistency of ice cream. But it was just so delicious. Like I'm gonna go back for sure and try a bunch of other things on their menu, but I just had to put that little blurb in there um, since I did not record my food, I apologize. But yes, yeah, so Linda's, vegetarian village and I'm sorry if I look really greasy <laughs> it's like 85 degrees outside anyways guys I'm about to go get my hair did um, and I'll be back so I just finished getting my hair done as you can see I got a different curl pattern um, but anyways, I'm about to head home, do some editing, eat some food, take a nap, <laughs> all of the above. Um, but stay tuned, I'm going to New York this weekend um, to visit uh, my friend Naomi with a couple of girls and we're going to have a great time. So more vlogs to come.